Hey yo, welcome back to the battlefield everyone. I'm your host Monk and I'm playing Star Wars Destiny on Tabletop Simulator. We are back with a Padawan story with Honestly Sarcastic aka Geo Cologne. What's up man? Doing alright man, doing alright. You know, Saturday, a little later than you guys though. Cause like it's still like 3 for you and it's like almost 7 for me. Yeah, that, that East Coast versus West Coast man. Yo. Uh, are you living in the future or am I in the past? What are we doing? I don't know. I think when it's the next day, I'm in the future and you're in the past. Uh -huh. But other than that, we're just living on different timelines. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it, huh? Yeah. Hey, uh, thank you so much for coming in, man. It truly is appreciated. Like, everyone appreciates the crazy competitive nature of uh, the Hyperloops and uh, your guys' whole mindset on everything. But thank you so much. Uh, no, anytime, man. You, you know, people want to do stuff. I'm, I'm down to do stuff. I just chill. I'm ready for you to kick my ass, though, at this thing. You're coming at me with this drive-by? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know. Depending on what, what's going on with questions, I'll see if I can give some breakdowns. So for anyone watching stuff, if I see, like, random stuff, I'll try to bring it up so that you and any of the listeners can learn. Sounds good to me, man. Just don't yell at me, and, uh, you know, I'll probably end up crying by the end of this match, but it's good. Uh, you don't even get to the end of the match before you cry. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, but so I know a little bit about you, uh, you know, I know majority of everyone like watches your, your vlogs and stuff that you guys do, but what's, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Where are you from? Where you at? I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. No, just, I know, uh, right? It's up to you. A provoking question from the get go. Man, uh, I feel like I want to do like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and I'm going to do this while shuffling and drawing. Let's, let's do it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> so you just like break down the story like born and raised there you go uh no man uh born in mass lived in mass haven't gone anywhere from here um playing cards for a really long time started back during pokemon and uh yeah i'm gonna put easy picking away because this shit doesn't work versus you uh, <laughs> Let me easy pick. Uh, all your dice are different. What the hell is this? Um, yeah, so it's just like, been, I played Pokemon originally, and like, I, I, I was that crazy kid. And like, I'm not gonna, let's not ask questions of how I had money, but I was dropping like, probably $200 a month on Pokemon cards, alright? <laughs> and, and like, so I'd be like, oh, like every time I'd be sitting there with my scry, just like, Oh, my collection's worth this, my collection's worth that. And uh, so when Pokemon died, it was like the saddest day ever. Oh, no. Like somewhere after that, like, because I played Yu Gi Oh! and all that stuff way later. But, uh, let's see, three versus three, that's a tie, man. I know I got five dice, but, like. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, hey, that's crazy, though. How, so, how was that transition between, like, going from Pokemon CCG to Star Wars? Uh, no, 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 no. It, it, like I went to Yu-Gi-Oh, then Magic. Oh, I gotcha. I played like every, not every dead card game under the sun, but I, I played a lot of dead card games. That one's interesting. Um, we'll uh, we'll start with the peekaboo. Ending. Here or here? One second. Oh yeah. People run this kid. Um, we'll get rid of that. So one one two two. Mm -hmm. So yeah, anyone watching, just you know, when you do Philps and stuff like that, or like Scruffies, you should definitely just you know, because you may not remember the cards, break it down to numbers. So like one one two two, as he plays cards, I'll be fine. Trying to figure what the hell that that was. It's like especially for a freaking Thrawn, right? So as long as you just remember one, one, two, two, you're good to go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what to do right now? Intimidation factors out there. All right, let's see. Tech team it. Let's go roll in Ezra. Disrupt. Ayla? So, 
one thing Monk needs to do here is realize that he has a flank in hand, and he's not going to be able to use it for the rest of this game. For the round, I guess. But mm -hmm. probably the game. Ooh. Hey, one. There's Peter as well. All right. So he's now played one, two. That means he has one, two left, which is hush and a flank. So always deep, keep these in consideration. Since he will <laughs> never be able to flank me, I can throw a Yoda out. Well, so he'll just never have money. So it's fine. Oh, man. So we're in the heart of the store champ season, right? Yeah. All right. How many, you, how many of those are you going to try to go to? Um, I'm currently scheduled to go to four. Um, I wanted to go to like 12, uh -huh. but, uh, seeing as it's like, we're, we're low on the amount of, I guess, time because they were just so late with stuff. Uh -huh. It gets really tough because, um, like the, you got like July, August, you got stores pretty much doing stuff on Saturdays primarily. And then, um, yeah, as we're one. and then because of that, like Connecticut, Store champs are literally like on the same days that Massachusetts ones are on. So it's just like, oh, awesome. And like, I can't do anything about it if I wanted to. Yeah, I gotcha. But yeah, uh, so uh, back to the thing. I played lots of Yu Gi Oh! Pokemon and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to grab a resource and then I'm going to steal your resource off of Ezra because you shouldn't do that. Mm hmm. Disrupt one of your resources? Sure. Hope you feel good about it. Um, hmm. What's the damage I can get here? And how important is it? So are you excited about any anything crazy? That's coming out uh, in this next set. Wise, you mean other stuff? Like way of force or other stuff? Yeah, way of force. There's gonna be lots of crazy stuff in general. I, I already got my case ready um, to go, so we'll see how that ends up playing out. Uh, so you've got three actions. Um, one, two, three. So I, I can do I can do this. There it is. There it is. Didn't expect to get it all at once. Two and direct? Yeah. One, one. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. Out oh, eight to Ayla. So, like, you put two on Ezra, I think, because you're used to people attacking yeah. Ezra. But I just don't care. Like, Ayla has two dice. I'll kill her. Move on with my left after. I'll claim. All right. And so, like, that's why I looked at what you had there to monitor the amount of things I could do. Like, I would have gave up shields or whatever here. Yeah. Not bad at an eye. This one's interesting. Uh, we'll start with a rally aid. Never good. All right, let's go ahead and throw out the Ayla before she dies. Talking about past this tends to be really hard. Um, oh, that's interesting. Um, I guess I just don't want to allow you to do that stuff, right? So, like, we'll flank one of those. Go ahead and roll out the wedge. So, yeah, I think you've done it again. Um, did you keep flank? Yeah, you kept flank, and there was no way in hell I was going to let you use it. Because you are you should be activating T47s and casting stuff instead of rolling out like Ayla to start. Yeah. Um. Like, you're already back into the, the situation where you're just not going to get to do it, because I won't roll up rookie. Yeah, that's true. There's not much I, I can really do here. Um, but 
but yeah, so like I played all those games. I, I just I'm used to playing really I guess quite not questionable, but just not amazing games and then doing well with them, so I got you. I can see that. Sure. I'm not sure how worth that was for you. We'll find out soon though. So is this like your uh, your go to deck right now? Uh, I think it's the best deck in the format, so I don't really bother doing much else. Yeah. There's the killer. Yep, 200. Huh. Question here is like, what's the best way to handle this? I guess you don't have money, so it doesn't matter. Man, you getting the plus twos. Four, six. Let's go ahead and get that resource. Yeah, so we're gonna two to kill Ayla and then four to wedge. Got it. Two to kill Ayla, four to wedge. So yeah, I've been playing like card games for a really long time and just kind of. Ooh, no rally. Yep, go for it. No, I can't rally it. I, I don't have the money for it. Oh, I, I gotcha. I thought I thought you had that just enough, so I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I only with the battlefield was I able to do it. Oh, I gotcha. So you took the money, and I just I was concerned with an easy picking. Um, I'll discard the card in your hand. Okay. On this, uh, I introverted it, so you just have to go through and discard or shuffle my hand and discard on your side. Okay. Right. No, I want you to leave that there for forever. All right, whatever. We've taken seven. You've taken fourteen. Can't yep, you're doing doing good. <laughs> but yeah, play, playing for forever, so it's like I don't know. I'm used to like breaking stuff down into just easier to digest things, and like you know, which makes complete sense, man. Like I completely understand that. Well, while I'm here, I might as well pay one. Yep. Sure. Killing me, Smalls. Ugh. Event. Zero one three. Disrupts for days, man. Hmm. Well, four wedge. Oh my god. That's a hilarious amount of disrupt. It's killer. Can be pretty good sometimes. 
not usually versus the Yoda. So since we right now we got 23 June. So do you think, or do you know any other spoilers that's coming out? Are you asking me if I know of spoilers that people haven't talked about? <laughs> No, but what do you think is going to be coming? Uh, because we only have a, only a limited card pool left. You know what I mean? I, I don't know of anything of Star Wars, man. Like, I don't know if you knew this, but I've never watched the movies. So I... Oh, no. So like, uh, I, I was told that uh, Snoke's probably in it because of his limited time frame in the movie. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Not so spoiler, spoiler alert. Right. Let's go ahead and rally in. I'll let you uh, shuffle my hand to discard. No, just discard. Nope. Okay. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? I guess I don't need this. Killer. The six. Go do this, do the two. Okay. So oddly enough, I really hate doing it this way. Because I don't need to do it that way. I don't need to do anything. I know how you like to use this special into a two focus. No, it's not that I like to do it into two focus. I actually don't like chaining Yoda into Yoda. I like to just reroll yeah. and have both of them. Two more to Ezra? Yep. Yep. Nice. Yep, I'll use it. Planned explosion and... Hmm. They were just terrible cards. I just can't remember what the hell they were. Because <laughs> I took the pin and I was like, oh, I don't care about the rest of these. Uh, may have been a vehicle? Uh, yeah, we'll kill Wedge. I'll leave right. the two there. You gonna do that or no? Nope, that's staying there. Alright. You have one left. You have two there. I'll claim it. Like, I don't need to be greedy in Y-Wing here, but I like Y-Wing so much. Well, you might as well, right? Can you uh, discard my card randomly, please? Gotcha, guys. And I'll pitch this to reroll both, because I ain't got no money. No money, honey. There it is. Crack. Take the one resource. One, two, and three. So, like, people paying Y Wings, one of the most interesting things. Because um, if you had an option between taking a damage or keeping a resource, normally you would just take the damage. Yeah, but not like, with like, one character. At this stage, you can't afford it, but, yeah. like, I think you lose if you don't have money, anyways. Yeah. Crazy planned explosion, man. It's something that people don't expect anymore, man. I hear what you're saying. 
I don't believe you, but I hear what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when, like, it's very viable with this freaking damn card. Yeah, I'll just pay for it. But I play Yoda, you're playing Wedge. Yeah. Like, I would... Because you, you can always like... wedge it to the six no matter what, and you can roll this just with two other die, and sure, you win. Sure, but I'm saying, like, I feel like you're playing an inferior version just because you th you want to wedge your die, and I'll just Yoda my die. Yeah. So you're like, oh, I got this damage to start, and I'm like, yeah, I got damage too. This is all ranged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I get a fifth die. Like, get out of here. Uh, w which makes sense. Um... Yeah, it's key. Oh, yeah, you already did that. <laughs> One, two, three. Yep. Hmm. I'll grab another resource. Why are we? Which two? These two? No, I'm thinking. Hold on. Uh, those two. You can keep the resistance. Which one? Why wings did. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go ahead and draw two cards. Okay. Actually, oh, oh well, fuck. I already did it. Back and tap my vehicle. I don't care. Yeah, I would have exhausted, but it's fine. I'll put you back. Put you back. I, don't I think you're dead anyways. All the plays in the world, yep. Nothing will save you. Nothing. <laughs> There's the two. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. <laughs> There's that awesome two weasel or two focus. All right. Monies. That's fine. I'll, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm getting all caught up. I'm supposed to be asking you questions and stuff. Uh, I don't know. We were on that question where what I what I played, how to get into it. Oh, like so, like I got into it by kind of just like one of my friends was talking about getting into Final Fantasy. Oh, I gotcha. Or he was talking about what games to get into, and it was like, oh, there's Final Fantasy, there's Destiny. I was like, ooh, Star Wars. I'm like, that IP is pretty safe. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go see what it's like. I got you. What? You're not allowed to have that in the deck. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got you. Oh, okay. I copy pasted. Oh well, yeah, so this die and this die. Planned explosion. <laughs> yeah. You you hoped for way too much. Uh, I need a discard now for rally, please. What? I'm, oh yeah, I got you. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Discard. Bang fighter in. Roll it out. Oh, and I gotta pay the one for it though. Got the two. Yep. Plus two. Yep. Four. Or all this out, I die. Um. No more of that. Two, four. Yeah, that's really about it. Three and red. I'm gonna get one of these damage tokens. Bam. Get the two. 
no matter what I die. Um, let's see here. Is there anything you're excited to start playing, or are you already tweaking out for I've already been playing Way of the Force? Um, Close, Ayla's built the last decks. Built the last is pretty sweet. It can be, yes. I like it. Let's get a resource. Four into Ezra. Bam. Well, it only puts him to five, but. Oh, yeah, five. But you got the focus. Which brings us to the two. Oh, well, you can't really. Oh, you can do the one. Or you're going to get a resource here. Yeah. You can't claim you die. I know, thing. right? <laughs> I kill myself. No. I consider doing two focus to go three and one, but I was just like, nah. Because <laughs> then it, it keeps away from easy picking. Yeah. Yeah, so the big part of play literally is me being able to get these two out. You're just trying to do cute shit. Stop trying to do cute shit. All, it's all about the cute shit with me, man. Oh, get out of here. What do you think my Palpatine is? Come on, man. What? Take it, pal? Oh, don't. Oh, come on. Uh, my yeah, my Palpatine, my Palpatine is the four speed Palpatine. No, when I say naked, I I, I run four speed like. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I run four speed with the uh, uh, all in plays. I don't like all in plays. I think all in's caca there. Uh, the only reason I run it is that focus side. If you get it on that freaking four speed, which majority of the time I get it for some damn reason. Sure, I give no craps about. <laughs> off of some other card like yeah, swiftness and alters and aims or whatever that's fine use the forces whatever that that that's all gravy but the other crap no thanks you gotta um, you gotta protect yeah. against that kylo too man what well, that's, that's why I like i try to keep my deck a, a third of third gray yeah that, no no that your your deck would be pretty questionable at that point like you have doubt you can run swiftness you can run aim you're at six. You can run yeah. sound the alarm, get to eight. Yeah. I don't I don't like that soft mitigation in pop. Okay. So you just talked about ten gray cards. What other fuck what shitty gray cards are you running, bro? <laughs> it it's coming. It's coming. What do you mean what it's coming? Oh no, like I'm I'm testing out the new version of the deck because I wouldn't find one in that GQ. Um Sure. So well, but what you said ten. And I'm saying, what shitty gray cards are you running? Uh, I, I do have two all-ins. Yeah, but I said I would have put aim. I have aim. Okay. Ew. Yep. It's all it's all for to get it, no matter what, to those three sides. And that's all the pop needs. Mm. And I'm excited for that, uh, that new plot, or not plot, but new Battlefield that just came out. Bendu? Yeah. No, wait, not that one. Not the die one. <laughs> not the die one, but the uh, uh, the one that lets you resolve it for one more. If you have a plot. No, that's a, that's a battlefield. That's the one that... What are you talking about? What am I talking about right now? Uh, let me go to my stuffs. I thought my... you said battlefield you were talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about battlefield. Yeah, the battlefield that lets you resolve for one more if you have a plot. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I thought you said it was a plot, and I'm like, wait, what? No, 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 if you have a plot. Yeah, 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 I do the shield plot, fortify. Yeah, no, I understand, I was just saying, it was if you have a plot. In this conversation, no. <laughs> this conversation, I've shot Monk. No, it's all right. Hey, uh, so is there anything else that uh, these lovely uh, Star Wars community does not know about you? That you uh, want to share? Let me, me kind of go from there. I don't know. You gotta ask questions, man. Like, I am not a volunteer. <laughs> that's that's like people waiting around at, thinking I'm gonna ask to be on their show. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> gotta ask these questions. No, it's good, man. Uh, but I do thank you so much for coming in and kicking my butt and giving some uh, explanations on everything that you were doing and stuff that you're seeing wrong that I was doing. You can ask questions, man. 
Things are fine. Well, you're saying you, you're you going to be playing some built to last decks and all that stuff, right? Do you want to give I'm more elaboration on it? I'm going to play whatever I think is the best. But I'll tell you this much. It's probably going to be three wide. You like you really like the three wide decks? I like three wide decks, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I can't even do <laughs> um <laughs> so what uh so coming from Pokemon to uh to you go to magic, um what attracted you most to Star Wars Destiny though? Like just the dice aspect or that extra no, random portion or no? Nope, just call Star Wars. You don't even like Star Wars though. Correct. You're just it's like not that I don't like Star Wars is I've never watched Star Wars. Oh, but okay. it's a safe IP. So the, my theory was is that if I'm going to play this game, right? Yeah. Like, I don't have to really concern myself with there not being a bunch of people that play it and it just really dying. Um, so then I found out that um, it was played <laughs> in the area, so I went to an event. And then, like, pretty much I went to the event, had no cards because you couldn't buy them. And I didn't know this at the time. Uh, made a deck out of what was left of uh, Gentleman David's uh, stuff. Got to play Django Trooper Trooper. Mm -hmm. um, oh no, wait. Did I play, did I play Django Trooper Trooper? Yeah, I played Django Trooper Trooper because he only had one Veers die. And like when I was researching stuff, I was like, oh man, Django's broken. Because I, I didn't understand the concept at the time that Django couldn't roll his dice out after every single activation. Yeah. <laughs> Because I don't like I in my mind it was like oh I get to just roll my dice out every time you activate like I get like three or four <laughs> die usages like this is great oh my <laughs> god okay <laughs> so yeah that that quickly got nipped in the bud um so then like I'm building out of his stuff and like he had like one DH and one F11 D and like so I I've just got this pile of crap I'm building with like a dug in and random stuff and I think I end up going like. 2-1 or like 2-2 two, two. the first guy i play against because i haven't read like all the cards uh-huh he's playing like grievous dooku and he he lands a holocron and i'm like oh what's that oh god and then he hits the special and he gets like uh what was the shitty one that deals one damage and changes the die side oh what it was the... like 40 bucks way back yeah i don't remember that one what is it uh force the... choke force choke Oh, yeah, Force Choke. Yeah, yes, so, yes, yes. so, yeah, he gets Force Choke down right away, and I'm just like, oh, and then he plays Holocron again, and I'm, like, playing my, these jank cards. Like, so, like, I end up losing because I just don't – I don't understand enough of what's going on. But yeah. then I play, like, against Django Veers, and I crush that guy because I'm like, I know what you should be doing. <laughs> so be, beat that person mm -hmm. and then play against, like, Vader Jabba. And, like, if you read them, you're just like, well, the Vader's too big to kill, and he only has one die. Let me kill Jabba. And uh, it was actually against Tom Malucci. Uh, and if, if you know who Tom Malucci is, like, he he's like a world champ of um, the other Star Wars game, I think. Or is one of the, the – the, for the LCG? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was just like, I'm playing against him. Like, I, I don't know who he is. I don't care who he is. Um, and I go after Jabba, and he's like, you don't want to go after Vader? No, Jabba has two dice, and it, it gets in my hand. Get out of here. And he he's like, good call, good call. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, I kill the Jabba, and, like, I ended up just pulling up short on the, the Vader. Because, like, I just don't have enough upgrades in deck, and I have a bunch of bad cards. Yeah. Like, endless ranks and shit, but I don't get the five. <laughs> so, it's just, like, like so, like, that that was my first event. And then I bought, like, eight boxes of Awakenings. Good God. That other wave. <laughs> well, because, like, when I do stuff, I, get, I do stuff. Okay. Um, and, like, all the prices were expensive, so I was like, well, if I buy eight boxes of Awakenings, I'll just crack all my stuff keep what I want, sell the rest. And I, like, I did that. I ended up selling, like, Vader Raider to my friend um, for, like, a couple hundred. Because, like, Vader Raider had all of the legends. And, like, Vader's were, like, 50, 60 bucks back then. And Force Chokes were, like, 40s. And all my Holocrons and Kylo Sabers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I had two of everything. So I, I sent them back, I think, for, like, 200. Because, like, everything was expensive back then. Like, even the comms and the comms were crazy. <laughs> to like get back some of the money and i'm just like selling legend and crap i don't want trading for holdout blasters so uh pretty much after that though like i, I got my Django veers deck i'm like beating people and then i end up switching to like uh four wide because mm -hmm. uh, 
build my fiance a deck and I'm doing testing with like NJ Cuenca one day. Um, and we're talking about like three wide and four wide decks. And like, we just realized that like the amount of health pool there was kind of disgusting. The only dilemma was, is it was so slow that if Django got a bunch of upgrades, he just, he just murdered troopers and you couldn't really do much about it. So then like eventual tweaking, I've got the ball in there, the night sister. Cause I'm just like, I'm going to be rainbow. Like night sister reads really good. I like night sister. Yeah. Uh, and like Bala read really good, so it's just like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play like this because we I think the original versions were like four stormtroopers, and we we're like I was like nah, <laughs> um, and then I was like I want some yellow, I want he doesn't like you, and then, and then I'm like I want blue, I want like deflect and isolation, so it's just like oh this this makes sense, and so like I'm playing this rainbow trooper deck, and I'm like oh we're ready for worlds, like playing Mike Gem Bobby Sapphire because like uh, he shows up to like one of the locals. And it's me and him in the finals for, like, whatever, like, crappy store credit at the time. We're going at it. He's got, like, Grievous Dooku. And uh, he he discards my last card in hand. And he thinks I lose because of it. Uh, I end up claiming most Isley to bounce one of my upgrades back to hand. Oh, wow. Okay. So, like, he's like, oh, discard. I win. And it was like, no. No, you don't. Um, he's like, wait, I don't win via, you know, discarding your last card. I was like, no, that the, the round has to end for that. So I end up like claiming to bounce my upgrade and then I go into the next round and I kill him. <laughs> and so like, he was super butthurt about that because he heard whatever rules from other people. And it was uh -huh. like, we pulled up like the rule book to, to more or less like show. And it was just like, yeah, bro. Sorry. So like he, him not knowing end of turn or like the, the, the end of round procedures hurt. Because he had other stuff he could have done there and, like, try to get damage in or whatever, but he ended up going for the discard to try to win. Oh, no. So he got it, but then, like, got rid of all this damage, pitched a bunch of his cards, and, and got ruined for it. So, like, I think at that point there was, like, a, a mini rivalry, and I think we had already played online a couple times, but we didn't know at that time. So, like, Nick knew him, and we played online, but... As far as he was concerned, I was some random kid that just did, that just beat him. So he uh -huh. was real upset. <laughs> he was really upset. Oh, my God. <laughs> he found out later because I would just proceed to whoop his ass all the time. Yeah. But it was just like, oh, okay. And, like, then we were talking about random shit because I was thinking, like, Django's really bad and he makes people play real bad. Uh-huh. Um, and pretty much people looked at me like my head was cut off. Um, and, like, the, the reasoning there was that it makes sense to not jam your upgrade and have no resources because you can't respond to stuff. Yeah. Uh, if Vader rolls out, hits the three, you can't kill his die. You have no money because you put the thing on Django because you want to roll out first or you want to roll out in response. So he forces you to actually play bad because you did that. Oh, um, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. So like you would, you would constantly spend your money because you jam this two drop down and now you can't respond. Like you could respond when he doesn't like you. And uh -huh. I think that was it back then. Because that wasn't until SOR, so you just couldn't you couldn't do anything there. Um, so, oh, too many Yoda dice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so like it, it was a big thing. So like we talked about that. Nick wrote like a, a an article on his blog about um, like dice math, and oh. uh, there was a gentleman named Grandpa Jake who uh, was talking about whatever math, and I was just like, Grandpa Jake, you're wrong. Like about the math. My grandpa Jake never showed back up. Uh, oddly enough, Grandpa Jake is is now uh, part uh, a patron, um, and like I never brought it up to him, but we were talking about math, and I was just telling him he's out of his damn mind because he wasn't taking like the other ability for like a base side or modified side into account when he was doing the math. Yeah. So like uh, that was just like whatevs. Um, but yeah, so like that's kind of how we started. Bobo had hit me up and he was just like, hey, I want to do this website thing, blah, blah, blah. So we did that. But uh, we never went to the first Worlds because I was streaming during it, uh, during when the, the tickets went up. And people were like, oh, one more game, one more game. One more game turned into three more games. <laughs> and then all the tickets were gone. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, oh, can't go to Worlds. And like, so some guy wins Worlds, uh, Daniel Weiser, and he has one fucking four strike. And we're like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And it, but like, it's one of those things where like, I released that rainbow deck right before because I'm like, well, I won't be able to go. People are like laughing at me saying it's terrible, whatever. Some guys are believers. They go play it. 
uh, find out like it's actually really good, but they don't have enough reps in it to, to really go the distance. So yeah. it, it's one of those things that we'll never know. But in my mind, with just all the other piles of shit I built that end up working out, I believe it was the best deck in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no one will tell me otherwise. No, man, that's a freaking crazy story. Like, I was going to end up, like, asking you those questions. Like, how did the Hyperloops thing even start? But you just kind of led right into it, which is pretty pretty cool story, man. Like, so you and uh, Bobby and NJ go back pretty far or no? No, uh, Nick and NJ do. I'm oh, sorry, Nick and <laughs> Nick. I'm like, Nick and NJ, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, uh, NJ Cuenca and uh, Bobby Sapphire do um, back to magic days. I've known Cuenca for a while through a mutual friend. Uh, he was the, he, as far as I'm concerned, he's the crazy guy who lives in Cambridge. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and, and like that, now that was pretty much the gist of it. The crazy guy who lives in Cambridge, we go out drinking, we'd like scoop him up and bar hop like a couple times. And then people would just be completely shit faced. And I'm the one driving home after. There you go. I know, man. It's just like, oh, I'm yeah, that's a team, huh? <laughs> Des- yeah, I think it's designated Dave, right? The guy who drives doesn't drink. There you go. But no, man, thank you so much uh, for everything, man. Thank you for giving me some knowledge. So here, here's the real thing. What yeah. if you would run this deck? What would you do to it? <laughs> let me let me switch some stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do. Exactly, <laughs> exactly this, I think. I well, see that. Because, like, realistically, this is your person that focuses and, and gets you damage. Yeah. And this is your person that does all the domain damage dealing and your opponent hates them. And this is the leftover guy who gets garbage shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Which is, like, a minor annoyance. So, like, that that's... And, like, so, like, the thing here is... I'm going to break off some, some keen knowledge for you. Oh. So, assuming we don't Yoda chain, anytime we're getting stuff from a die that would have just been dead, it's a positive. So you might, you would think, oh, well, this is two damage, and this is three damage. And, like, mm-hmm. that's fine. But this into that is also two damage. Yeah. So this Yoda die became two damage, even though... It's using the rookie pilot die because the rookie pilot die would have been dead. So, like, how often do you end up having a dead die on your field? Is like the real question, especially once you have a, when you have a bunch of incompatible sides. Yes. So, not only did Yoda get a resource, he got kind of like an increase um, from whatever he was going to get. So, like, if I go from a shield to a plus two and like I actually do the two damage, I would say Yoda's die was worth a resource and one damage. And if you had a die side worth a resource and one damage, you would pretty much think that's, like, filthy amazing. If you had a die side and two damage, you'd still be like, oh, my God, that's great. So, like, the thing is, is that 50% of Yoda's die is realistically worth damage in mm-hmm. the form of fixing other dice to max. So, ones turn into twos. That, that's, that means Yoda's focus was worth one damage. When you do that stuff to, like, Ancients, it was worth two because you go from one to three. Yep. Like, those are just huge relevant numbers. So it's not as simple as, oh, well, Yoda doesn't have damage. It's like, no, Yoda's an enabler. So, like, not only is it a ramp engine, he also just, like, you know, he makes your die consistent. And, like, that's that's kind of more than you can ever ask for a lot of the time. And then once you start getting into, like, huge upgrades and you're just like, oh, well, you know, this was now worth the three into it yeah. because this thing missed twice or whatever's going on. Like, it's it just becomes a, a very large thing. So, like... The, the wedge fix plus a bunch of shitty sides just isn't worth what you're you're kind of giving up because Ayla's die sides are completely amazing, but the rest of your deck's going to struggle. And then because you're only starting with two resources, you have a harder time getting that initial vehicle down Yeah. and then every subsequent vehicle. So if you don't start with Rallyator Tech Team or your Battlefield, you're going to have – actually, the Battlefield, you pretty much need to jam the first one down, or you have to find a resource between your, all of your dice. Um, and then you need Tech Team or Rally Aid just to be able to afford your, your vehicles round after round. Whereas here, it's just very different because I'm going to have the two, and I've got a really good – you know, a kind of crap, crazy, amazing odds to, to find a resource because we've got 
one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. We got another sixth. Like, so you're at like another eight. So what, 63, uh, another six, 69. And then uh, oh, the one. another five. So you're like 74% to find a resource before you reroll. Yeah, and that's real. And I've got one, two, you got three. Four, so you're at like 30%. Four. And then another, so you're like 41. So you're like 50%. Yeah. But like this 50% or this like 70 something percent is also including like fixing and not including the special. So if I, you know, if you ever leave the resource available for me to steal, like my numbers go up and then it just gets ridiculous. You can't, you'll find your resource at some point. I don't let you do it. I keep you behind. It just gets real bad. I can see it. I can see it completely, man. But like even versus aggro decks, like it's fine. Like I'll roll out, you'll spend it. As long as I can prevent you from, you know, round one, one-shotting Ezra. That's good. good. Cause like I can, I can probably get two dice. Um, two extra dice down prior to his death. It'll probably be similar to what someone gets when they play like their one upgrade. Maybe they get a second upgrade down, but then as soon as I kill one of their guys that had an upgrade, mm -hmm. we're looking at like a three, three versus five, three versus six dice. And all of my dice are worth a ton. Like you'll have dice worth ones a lot of time. Pretty much all my dice are worth like twos. Like that, that's worth two value. That's worth two value. This is two value, two value. So like if I take an actual disrupt, it sucks, but but everything like else, everything. yeah, you have, yeah, you get something out of it, which is at least two in value. I got you. Yeah, because like this special is worth disrupt and a resource, so that that's realistically for me, that's like one and a half or one and three quarters. Uh -huh. But it's it's huge amount, so I don't mind going get a resource with Yoda, get a resource with Ezra, in, while stealing your resource. Like that's enough value there where it was consistent, and then I'll just fix my other dice, hit you for like five, but I've ramped out enough to be able to cast a big vehicle plus have removal still and like that that's the dream yeah man i like it i like it a lot again thank you so much for the insight bro anytime anytime all right uh, uh time to close this off anything else you want to uh, say or do anything for in this video uh yoda rose jawa trilogies baby yeah <laughs> 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 but no no just you know um come check us out hyperloops.com uh check out the twitch twitch.tv slash the hyperloops we finally just got affiliated it took like a whole week <laughs> we did it fam we did it <laughs> <laughs> like if you when you want to do it you gotta like all the time you have to do it two days you know twice a week for a month and we're like there's three of us we can just alternate <laughs> And it's just, it's, it's, it's just easy that way. But, like, yeah, um, anyone looking to really get better, um, you really want to try to get teams, get a group going, um, like-minded individuals trying to get better. Uh, if not, we have the Discord for you, but not trying to make sales. Just want people to get better because, you get you know, people just make it too easy to beat them up to hell. Just that they're playing fucking Wedge Ezra Yoda. I mean, Wedge Ayla. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. do this. Don't do this. That's what he's saying. Don't do it. Don't do it. You should just play it like this, elite. Oh yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I, I did that too. Just like straight vehicle scary. ramp. That's scary. Because you start with a three, and you're like, all right. Makes sense. What is it? I had a version of the deck that actually had uh, what is it? That one that does two, da uh, the plot that does two damage. No, stop. For Your some damn reason. Could be so much better than two indir two indirect damage. <laughs> Your one resource is so much potential value. You do have a point. I can get the the freaking resilient or resistance bomber out turn one, so it makes sense. Y wing, Fang fighter, like <laughs> these are all real things. You could just be like tech team. Here's my three drop. Now, now I'm gonna play three drop every turn, every round. You're right. You're right. But any other questions for the Padawan story? Because I like I feel like we played a game and then just talked bullshit for a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, man. Thank you again for uh, showing in. Uh, you guys already know I will have the links in the description below. Everything that uh, of Hyperloops, if you guys want to go to it. Um, if you guys are under a rock and for some odd reason don't know who the Hyperloops are, hopefully you guys know now. Um, yeah. <laughs> they, they got they got worse problems. <laughs> But on that, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Truly appreciate it, and catch you guys next time on the battlefield. Have a good one, everyone.
Peace. Deuces.